good morning, folks. Jupiter is heading in behind the sun early next week for a geocentric conjunction. What you don't see here is any ejecta heading our way from the little surface pop and potential eruption we saw yesterday. It was just pretty to watch. Anyway, we've got a day about weather. Not such good a news for the northern Midwest states. We've got some earthquakes as well, but we'll begin at spaceweathernews.com and see once again the earth facing quiet continues dominating despite some of the eruptions we've seen from the limbs and far side. Solar flaring, dropping back down into B-class range as the large group turns out of view to the right, but we may be seeing the start of magnetic interaction down south as blue positive umbras step into the middle. If we get flares from this sunspot, it would have to be from that central interaction. Solar wind here from the last seven days. You see that a minor geomagnetic event occurred as a corona hole stream briefly swept past Earth three days ago, but now we are all calm, and the cosmic ray concerns from yesterday are still in effect as space weather is quiet. Next events likely won't arrive until the stream from this corona hole does. It is, of course, setting an enhanced earthquake watch as CMEs begin to couple and the planets will be aligning as well. We watched a 6.3 strike the Philippines. This is yet another of those areas that rumbles when typhoons are nearby or directly overhead. We're going to be watching south of that this weekend. Romania also with one way above average. Luckily, that was deep. And we had yet another earthquake in Africa. Hopefully, these are all aftershocks triggered by the Tanzania quake last month. Either way, serious uptick there. Let's quickly look ahead to the winter forecast from the Weather Channel. For those who understand how these are made and propagandized, just shift everything slightly southwest about 300 miles. Same patterns, just with a better chance for blocking than they realize. I promise when they did that aspect of the forecast, they were not looking at the sun. Anyway, we're quickly coming to Australia, where evacuations have been ordered in Forbes as water is still rising. Best of luck there. And in the U.S. Midwest, where flood levels exceeding previous major events are already taking place across a wide area, and they have more coming, not just tonight, but tomorrow as well. Utterly brutal flood situation there. Folks, it is Saturday, so we've got our podcast, Fly on the Wall, coming up in just a few hours. Right now, we've got a world of weather and shots of our star to close. It's 4.30 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.